Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Payne. Welcome to another episode of Blue Ocean Crypto. Today we're going to take a look at a Web3 game launcher platform called Elixir, which is very similar to how Steam works. Now we're going to take a look at it through the website first because it can be ran through a browser. And then we'll take a look at the launcher after that, which I definitely prefer using. It's just so much more clean. But before we jump into it, one thing I need to mention to everybody is only 10 to 15% of you are currently subscribed to our channel. It only takes two seconds to hit that red button below and it makes a huge difference to us and the YouTube algorithm showing all this great content to other people. Okay, so let's take a look at the website first. It talks about how it is the first next generation cross chain web three gaming platform, which is obviously super exciting. Now, just scrolling down, you can already see the massive catalog of games, but a lot of these are very recognizable. We have some of the top titles in Play to Earn already supported on the Elixir platform. And there's actually even a lot of games that I've never heard of here before, which is really exciting because in our game guild, we're researching dozens of games per week. So it's nice to be exposed to some additional titles as well. So, I mean, it's really awesome to see the collection that they've built, but what's super impressive is how quickly they're growing. And if we just take a look down here, we can see how simple it is. Basically, you install and launch the application, you can play the games, and of course, you own the NFTs and assets. Very simplified process. Now, they talk about being able to support and develop a network effect of bringing more gamers into their eco space and also supporting game development companies. But they also have first mover advantage here, just like Steam did back in the day. And well, look how big Steam is now. They talk about how their tools can be developed into already pre-existing games or developed alongside new games, which integrate all kinds of things like a vault, anti-cheat, and many more features that can help support a game. Also, what I really like is that they're doing a launch pad where they're gonna be helping and assisting games come to market, and we'll see a little bit about that here soon. So really, in summary, they wanna collaborate with games and game development companies and really ease the onboarding and playing process for its users, which we all know is a big issue in Web3, how complicated it can be sometimes just to be able to start playing a game. And it's nice to see that they're addressing this issue. So they talk about how there's a launch pad for games that will help support initial game offerings, otherwise known as IGOs, which I thought was kind of clever because usually you'd see ICOs for initial coin offering, but they're talking about games. So they're not just going to support already developed games. They're actually going to be a launch pad that really helps bring new games to market. They also talk about how they were able to integrate some of the top NFT marketplaces to be able to redirect traffic directly from games to those platforms. And currently they're supporting OpenSea, Magic Eden, Fractal, and even Binance NFT. This is really awesome to see because it's gonna help facilitate not only an easier access to gaining the assets and players to buy the NFTs, but of course these platforms are gonna appreciate the additional traffic. The cross-chain capability of Elixir is something that makes it truly unique. We all understand this is gonna really make things easy for a lot of Web2 traditional gamers trying to come into this space, so they don't have to learn all the nuances between these different networks. But I also like, if we take a look here, we can see it runs on Windows, Mac, or Linux. And there are some minimum specs required that it's always good to take note of before you install it. So just moving along, there is a testimonial section. You guys can always read that at another time. And then they talk about their blog. This is similar to like a Medium page. So let's jump over there and take a quick look. What I really like about their blog is it gives a lot more information on the direct partnerships they've created with these play to earn titles. So if you want to learn a little bit more, not just about the relationship between Elixir and the newly partnered game, maybe it's a game that you haven't seen before. You can always find more information here and they do have an ability to subscribe for updates. So they'll send you an email, obviously, whenever a new one is posted. So I am gonna give you guys a quick rundown in the actual launcher, but I wanted to quickly show you what it looks like in the browser. It's 
very similar as far as the style goes, but you can see right at the very top, there's this big bar that says download the launcher for a much better experience. So you can kind of poke around a little bit in here first, but I highly recommend you jump over to, to the launcher because that's where it's the most clean. Okay, so now that we're in the launcher, something I noticed right away is it shows when people are streaming on the left-hand side. This is really cool. Now, I assume this is mostly gonna be for live stream content, but I'm hoping maybe they can add content creators, YouTube channels, and other things down the road too. Okay, so taking a look at home, it kind of gives us all the recent announcements and partnerships with new games that you can scroll through. And then underneath it lists a bunch of different games like ones that are verified, ones that are trending, and so on. Now I did download one game so I could show you guys kind of the quick launch, how it appears right at the top there, just to give you an example. Now before I go any farther, I want to talk about why this is so great, especially for content creators. There's been a common issue going on in Web3, and one of the big scams recently is people will reach out to content creators or YouTube channels, getting them to download a launcher to test a game under the guise of working for compensation, when actually it's a malicious program trying to hack or gain access to your computer. Now, usually as a player, you don't have to worry about this because you're only gonna be playing the game once the game's available to the public and you'll use the official links through Discord. But this has actually been something that's been going on for quite a while with content creators and, and streamers. And a lot of them have actually gotten, well, hacked. So at this point, like for example, I will not work with any company that asks me to download an executable to test their game. And it's simply because of this. And it's unfortunate because maybe some of these opportunities are legitimate, but because the majority of them are not, people just aren't willing to take that risk anymore. When we have a platform like Elixir that can verify the executables, now that's no longer an issue. So this actually solves a huge scam that's going around in the community right now, which is something that's really exciting. So taking a look at a lot of the games, you can see quite a few are already in a private beta stage and you're gonna need specifically a beta code in order to access them, but that's not the case for all the games. There are some that you can download and play right now. Also, just kind of moving along, we can see that there's a partner section. This is gonna be super cool. Obviously, there's nothing in there right now, but I'm sure as they start to partner, not just with new games, but different companies, maybe DeFi platforms, maybe wallets, this is where we're gonna see all that listed. I really like this events idea, because if we take a look at now, we can actually see there was an event that was going on just a few days ago by Landbox. There's a bunch of different prizes that are available. You can scroll down and kind of see some other events that were going on or are going on. I think this is gonna be a huge opportunity to not only promote things going on within specific games, but it's nice to see the prizes that are offered. And also as a content creator, I think this is gonna be an exciting thing to get involved with. So just showing you guys an example of one of the already downloaded games that we put on the launcher for the sake of this video, you can see when you go into more details, it gives a nice overview of the game, has some videos and pictures, all kinds of additional information. You can almost think of this like the store page when you're first viewing it, which is a great way to kind of get slightly accustomed or see if it's something that you might be interested in. So taking a look at the account section, there's obviously a little bit more going on here. It shows us our email that we originally registered the account with, but the username can only be changed once. And one thing I did notice, you can't use any periods in your name, and it does attach this four digit number to the end of your username. So there's really kind of no way around it. And then you can even put in just your regular name. Now on the right hand side, this is where we can connect our wallets. It's got one for BNB chain, it's got one for Ethereum, with MetaMask and then one for Phantom, which was awesome. And going through that process was super simple. Basically, you just click a couple buttons, connect it like you're connecting to a website and you're done. And I like how it shows you the first four characters and last four characters of the wallet address. So you always know exactly which one you have connected. So taking a look at security, it does say that they're gonna offer a 2FA very soon. And there's even a QR code that you can generate that helps support connecting mobile games. There's also this rewards area, which I think is gonna be awesome, but I wonder if it's gonna be rewards specific to the Elixir platform, or maybe this is where you can collect some rewards from specific games as well. Then there's a whole referral area, 
which I also think is very clever. And it's interesting because there is nothing on here until we downloaded that game. And then you can see it kind of shows us as if we're in the rankings, even though there is none yet. So I'm sure they're developing this, but I wonder if it's going to be referrals for specific games that can be integrated, or if it's just going to be referrals also for Elixir. So I'm going to keep a close eye and I recommend you do too on any referral opportunities and of course rewards available within the Elixir platform. Now, of course, you can log out and log into another account if you need to. And like I said, the website version or browser version is pretty much identical, but the launcher is just a lot cleaner and I really like how we can make it full screen. So I'm definitely gonna opt for that. But I'm kind of curious, what are you guys more interested in using? Would you more often use the browser version or maybe the launcher? Leave us a comment down below. I think this is gonna to continue to take Web3 play to earn by storm. We've already seen some major titles on there like MetaOps, Big Time, and recently they just announced The Bornless. And if any of you guys are familiar with our guild, Blue Ocean Games Guild, you know how excited and involved we are with that. And we're probably only gonna see more and more titles coming along for the ride. Because like I said, this does solve a big issue with content creators being targeted with scams with sketchy executables. So I'm probably going to be doing a lot more content on Elixir related games, not just to promote this platform, but also just to help grow the community and really promote what they're doing. Because like I said, it's actually solving a couple issues and they have first mover advantage. So thanks so much for your guys' time today. I hope you found this useful. If you haven't downloaded Elixir, of course, all the links are gonna be down in the description below. Make sure you slam that like button. That really helps the YouTube algorithm get this video out to more people. And like I mentioned in the beginning, make sure you're subscribed. That's super important to us on our channel and it shows us that you guys care. And of course, hit that bell notification to stay up to date with all the great play to earn content we constantly have coming up. Until next time, cheers. Don't forget about our 1,000 subscriber giveaway where you can win $200 and if you need more information, be sure to join us on our Discord. See you there.